Okay. So whether you're artist, an engineer, you're looking to start your own label, you want to do journalism in this industry, um, it's important you see a value to yourself. That's number one. You have to see value in what you're bringing to the market and assess that value and treat yourself. See, this is treat yourself somewhat like a business. What I tell people when they're looking to, you know, sort of really make a career out of music or really make a career out of what they do in this industry is do all the groundwork first, all the business stuff, all your all your um, income streams and income flow and all that, get it set up from the start. Have, know you have a plan, have it all laid out for you because for me, what's kept me going is the fact I don't have to deal with any of that. I spent six months before I opened my studio setting up my business plan, feasibility study and figuring out exactly how I'm going to make this work and I went over it and went through it like a fine tooth comb. So now when I work, my only thing that I have to do that's administrative is hand out an invoice before the session starts. And as, as an artist or engineer looking to get into this industry, you have to figure out your value and figure out how you can make it sustainable. So I'll just give out ideas. Um, as an artist, how many ideas would you go through, Sam, say in about a month if you were producing quite vigorously how many ideas Ooh. would you go through and scrap uh oh that's a that's a tough question upward of upwards of 20 okay upwards of 20 of those 20 how many would be relatively useful to other people uh two to five two to five okay two to five let's say you take two to five of those ideas um and over three months you can have a sample pack of about 10 15 um elements that you can send off into the market. Mm, mm. So your invested time into that wasn't wasted. Mm. You're still able to capitalize on it. You know, you can do that with everything. Um, music you don't release, how many tracks do you have that you don't release? Oh, um, <laughs> I, I don't want to think about that, to be okay. honest. <laughs> um, you know, sync, de sync deals and commercial music or working with... Um, video game editors, working with videographers and giving them a catalogue of work to choose from and setting up contracts with them. All these things are external income streams which the public aren't going to see as your work, but at least your, your invested time is giving you some return outside of your music. So, look, those are just general ideas. Those are just me spitballing some bullshit off the top of my tongue just sort of to get ideas flowing. But for anyone listening, think about the time you put into your, your craft Think about what you what the result of it is and think of how is that of value to the market? How can you fit yourself in so you can do what you love so and still sustain yourself?